there was always this assumption that I was, you know, I had all the tools to be a great leader um, when I was only surviving. And I decided to take the leap of faith because I was intrigued by the idea of the opportunity to gather in an amazing surrounding with people from diverse walks of life and focus on what it means to be a civil society. It was time for me. I receive a lot of recognition as a professional and yet personally I've been dealing with a lot of challenges and I started to ask the question, what is my purpose? Am I actually being impactful? And how do I actually shift some of my thinking to really change our communities and support our youth in actually addressing the issues that impact them every day? It came at an, uh, an inflection point uh, for me personally and professionally. And so I thought it would create an opportunity to really take that step and be you know, thoughtful and, and self-reflect and think about what does that next chapter for me look like professionally and how can I have more impact? Yeah, I'm a firm believer that uh, we have an obligation to leave society better off than we found it. Um, and I think this was an area for me to, quite honestly, step outside of my box a little bit, um, engage folks that I may not otherwise engage with on a regular basis, help learn and understand their perspectives of, of law enforcement and the profession, as well as hopefully uh, share some of my perspectives to help them learn kind of what we do and why we do it. Um, enlightening. Cathartic. Thought-provoking. Moving. Challenging and beautiful. Informative. Enriching. I would say it's one of the most affirming things I've ever done as a leader. The lack of civic engagement. To me, so many of our issues stem from the, the fact that a few people are in power, a few groups of people are in power, and a lot of people don't participate. You know, mental health is something that's really on top of my mind, uh, how that impacts all of us. Uh, you know, mental health does not discriminate based on race, age, gender, socioeconomic status, profession. Uh, I mentioned earlier the, the wellness that we're working on for our officers, but you know, we see a lot of folks in our community that our, our officers interact with that uh, are struggling with mental health. Major civic society issues for me, honestly, is rooted in the reality of racial inequities. And I bring this up because today we do focus on what's right in front of us, but don't really acknowledge the underlying foundational challenges that have led to many of the divisiveness within our country. 